조용히 기부했더니 씨바 아무도 몰라. 개, 개 씨바 새끼들. What? Surely you all know about h e c h o l s recent scandal involving sensitive statements while drunk on the live broadcast on the evening of February 9. Yeah, I know. It's shocking. Specifically, h e c h o l s statements include first, harsh insults to people on the forum Women Generation, a famous Daum Cafe page that supports feminism. Second, his support of YouTuber b o g i u m a YouTuber who is said to have discriminated against women, considering his signature greeting Boru, an acronym for vagina in Korean. Third, pulling jokes on Cha Eun Woo, making his image suddenly become rude in the eyes of fans. And finally, swearing at cat moms for no reason. Well, maybe I don't need to recount what h e c h o l said in detail because everyone must have known those words by heart due to constantly researching the case. What I want to convey in this video is why h e c h o l is doing this and is he okay? Everyone knows that h e c h o l has always been famous as a savage idol when constantly making unfiltered but still very funny statements. But this time, it seems that he has gone too far, saying words that couldn't be ruder since he thought that fans would still see him as a funny person with great sense of humor. Like before. Actually, many people admit that they have never thought h e c h o l was savage or funny. All they see is just an extremely ungainly and ridiculous guy. And that's why they just don't understand why so many fans still spend hours watching this guy talking nonsense without getting bored. One thing that's noteworthy is that Women Generation and h e c h o l have really hated each other for a long time. Women Generation has a great influence on female students and feminists, whereas h e c h o l often spends time on forums whose members are. Mainly males who hate feminism. However, a netizen said that the fact that h e c h o l keeps repeating how he was hated by women generation while he was the one who cursed back at them made no sense and even painted himself as a mean guy. If he was a real man, he would just stop at litigation and wouldn't complain about it all the time, as well as insult others like that. Considering the fact that h e c h o l once had disrespectful behavior toward i r i n and Knowing Brothers, in particular, throwing his shirt at her and demanding wash it. And the fact that he despises women generation and cat moms, netizens believe that the male idol is actually a person with toxic masculinity and anti feminism mindset. Some people even wondered how h e c h o l was able to debut and become famous when his personality was so rotten and distorted. Their discontent towards h e c h o l was so great that they even dragged the other members of Super Juniors into the mess, saying that Super Juniors is full of toxic men who are subject to society's vices and women discrimination. Considering the fact that Shin Dong said women should not be fat, and Kyu Hyun made Gu Hara burst into tears right on television. I have to admit that SM has been really struggling these days. So many bad things have happened in just a few months, being taken over by HYBE, Got the Beat not doing well, controversy over buying awards for NCT 127 and NCT Dream, and now h e c h o l with weird statements. But to be fair, h e c h o l s hatred for women generation is valid because he was so fed up with being constantly summoned there for people to curse all day. Moreover, some revealed that this forum is actually very evil as many of its members used to curse. Her Sully after her death, as well as smearing h e c h o l s image, leading to him filing a lawsuit and winning the case. That's why fans said that haters should stop putting words in h e c h o l s mouth, assuming that he is anti feminist just because he doesn't like that forum. Actually, h e c h o l s only fault is drinking during the live stream and swearing too much. Aside from that, he has no personality problems and doesn't do anyone any harm. Moreover, he also publicly apologized, and although there are still many people who don't accept his apology, they'd better. Mind their own business and stop cursing h e c h o l or else they will become the same person they hate. Besides h e c h o l Minji is another idol being brought up as the subject of criticism recently. So, after New Jeans announced that Minji had become an ambassador of Chanel Korea and is in charge of all three fields clothing, beauty, and jewelry, she immediately became the talk of the town since netizens noticed an unusual detail in the announcement post Minji wearing Calvin and Klein items and blurring the brand's logo. Many wonder why Minji doesn't wear Chanel in an obviously Chanel related post. Instead, she wears Calvin and Klein and then has to blur the logo in such an unprofessional way. Besides, while Chanel had not yet made any move to announce Minji as an ambassador, Min Hee Jin hurriedly put the card before the horse, resulting in Minji being embarrassed when Chanel didn't even like or comment on that post, despite being tagged. While most netizens still don't understand what Min Hee Jin's intentions are, some are more quick minded. 
blinded, realizing that all this is just her dirty media trick to get people talking about Minji more, regardless of positive or negative. Well, some are really naive to think that the blurred Calvin and Klein logo is just a coincidence. Did you notice that instead of choosing another photo or properly deleting the logo, Min Hee Jin just blurred it? Also, do you know who is currently the representative of both Chanel and Calvin Klein and K-pop? Yes, that's Jenny. The inclusion of the Calvin and Klein logo in a post about Chanel was Min Hee Jin's intention to mess with Jenny, reminding her that there is a potential young female idol about to take her place as a gem of these two brands. And indeed, right after that post was published, many news reporters immediately got it and wrote titles like this. To this point, tons of Jenny's fans are feeling extremely upset and confused at the same time. They think that Minji implicitly declaring war on Jenny and trying to steal her Chanel icon position is extremely ridiculous and silly because Minji definitely doesn't deserve to be put on the table with Jenny in terms of fashion. Back in the time when K-pop was not yet familiar with high fashion, Jenny had to bring Chanel to many stages and events to have the opportunity to be invited to Paris Fashion Week by the brand and was given the regional ambassador title, and then officially the house ambassador. Jenny's long journey to such a position was filled with perseverance and passion. That's why whenever her title Chanel's house ambassador was spoken up, there is a luxurious and precious vibe floating in the air. Therefore, the fact that she is always pampered by the brand is nothing debatable. Meanwhile, Minji is only a few months old rookie, has never had any Chanel-related activities and even rarely wears the brand's items. In short, she has not yet made any effort to promote the brand's products, yet in a blink of an eye she held the title of Chanel Korea Ambassador. This for Jenny's fans is both a joke and a great insult to the title, considering Minji's Sunbae names from the same company like Suga or Jimin, who have been in the industry for 10 years yet have only recently been named the ambassador ambassadors of Dior and Valentino. The fact that Minji gets such a privilege while hasn't been an idol for a year really gets on netizens' nerves. Leaving aside the never-ending battle between Minji's fans and Jenny's fans, we come to Jungkook's latest news of him dating actress Lee Yo Bi. Specifically, a few days ago, reporter Lee Jin Ho gave Jungkook's fans as well as ARMY a big shock when he confirmed that Jungkook was definitely the actress's ex-boyfriend. He posted an explanatory video on YouTube with a title that couldn't be more triggering, can't deny these proofs, Jungkook and Lee Yo Bi used to date. In fact, the two have been caught up in dating rumors before, but HYBE quickly denied it. However, with Lee Jin Ho's latest revelations, rumors of a romantic relationship between Jungkook and Lee Bi are heating up once again. Well, it seems like Jungkook's bad luck is as surprising as the way he changed his image. So, Lee Jin Ho said that Jungkook and Lee Bi met through an acquaintance and started dating two years ago, and then ended their relationship at the end of May last year. It is currently impossible to confirm whether the two are still in contact with each other or not. For the reason why he knew this, Lee Jin Ho said that he decided discovered an account using Jungkook's ID posting a review on an online shopping site. Looking at the purchase history, he saw that the product name coincided with the Chanel bag that Lee B once showed off. Not only that, the time when the above account purchased the bag was quite close to the day Leo B posted the photo of the bag on her personal Instagram. Connecting these facts together, Lee Jin Ho assumed that it was Jungkook who bought the bag for Leo B. In addition, he also said that the two used to travel to Jeju together and emphasized the bead bracelet that Jungkook and Leo B used to wear. He surmised that this was a bracelet of special significance to Leo B's family as both her mother and brother-in-law also wore it. Therefore, the fact that Jungkook is an outsider but wears the exact same bracelet proves that he has a close connection with Leo B. Currently, the two agencies have not yet responded to this new evidence. However, without waiting for insiders to speak up, fans quickly protested to protect their idols. One netizen said that if Lee Jin Ho took the bracelet as proof of dating between Jungkook and Leo B, she might be both dating Jungkook and Leo B's relative because, well, she also has the same bracelet which was a gift from her mother. Besides, the fact that Leo B's Chanel bag and the one bought by Jungkook's ID looks similar doesn't mean that these two artists are are dating. First, that bag model must have been produced by Chanel in hundreds of pieces, and it is not uncommon for many people to buy the same bag at the same time. Second, it's possible that Jungkook's account indeed purchased the bag, but that doesn't mean he bought it for Lee Yo B. 
Moreover, many people don't understand why any celebrity couple that gets exposed has ever traveled to Jeju together. While everyone knows that place is packed with paparazzi and reporters who are always spying there to take pictures and prying into the private lives of idols. Therefore, the claim that Jungkook and Lee Bi went to Jeju together seems quite absurd and forcing. So, do you think Hee Chul's actions are wrong and is he really okay? Can Minji take Jenny's place to become Chanel's new darling? And do you believe that Jungkook and Leah B used to be a couple? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!